Hi, this is Steve Christie from Born Again RN. I am making this video uh, regarding uh, an interaction I had in a live chat session in Pints with Aquinas where William Albrecht is supposed to be debating Father Ramsey on purgatory uh, coming up pretty soon. And uh, the uh, conversation that's been going um, on social media lately about whether or not William Albrecht is the one that keeps um, canceling his debate against Anthony Rogers or if Anthony Rogers is the one that's doing it and there's been talk about whether or not William had canceled a June 20th debate is a topic of this particular video. So regardless of what position you're on, uh, if you're on William's side or, or if you're on Anthony's side, this video is strictly for those who are interested in what's actually true. Um, I guess back in October 30th of last year they were supposed to debate on uh, does the Bible and the church fathers teach justification by faith alone? And it's been going on, coming up on a year now that they have not had this debate. And I guess um, attempts of rescheduling have been unsuccessful. But the question is, who is the one who keeps uh, canceling and rescheduling these debates? Uh, well, this uh, screenshot that I'm sharing right now is... Uh, actually addresses the reason why this is important for. Uh, this gentleman by the name of Fred A. says uh, to William Albrecht, I'm with you on this, brother, but just let it go. Find a way to schedule the debate, then beat this guy up in the debate to settle this once and for all. And if you notice, the little icon here is of William, who actually agrees with this statement. And what this guy is actually saying is just let it go and reschedule and, and debate this guy. And if you notice, uh, William's response, uh, which he actually responds twice to on uh, uh, Patristic Pillars, which is his YouTube channel, he says, uh, don't you worry, we will work on getting it rescheduled. But this post was to clear my name of the egregious lies he is passing on. So William is saying that people saying that he's the one that keeps canceling, he's calling them liars. He's saying Anthony's a liar, he's saying I'm a liar, and other people who actually support Anthony, he's saying they're a liar. And unfortunately, many of the people who follow um, William actually believe that he, the claims that he's making against Anthony and others, that they are lying about him about this. So let's find out which actually happened because both of them have provided screenshots defending their position. Uh, this is a screenshot that was provided by Anthony Rogers. As expected, William is backing out of the date we agreed upon again, and then uh, it ends up going on. But this is a conversation that has gone on. These are screenshots uh, between Marlon Wilson, who is a moderator of the, the, the debate. Uh, the Gospel Truth is where the debate was supposed to happen last year, and it keeps getting postponed. And it's between him, William Albrecht, and Anthony Rogers. So if you take a look, um, William's comment here, can you let us know what dates are good for you in the near future? I am just recovering from COVID cough. So I was rarely here, uh, here on Messenger. I will be around today. Marlon's response is, does June 20th at 8 p.m. work? Now, if you notice, he's telling William what the date he, he is proposing. At this point, they haven't committed to it, but he's simply asking him the question. And if you notice, the date here is May 4th at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, the writing that's in the blue is actually Anthony's, and he says, I was kidding about the first week of June, but if you need until the 20th, then I'll live with it. Nine months of prep will mean I'm getting the best William. And if you notice that there's uh, a, a laughing icon and a thumbs up. And as you can see the screen, this is William Albrecht and Marlon Wilson. Now, just to be fair, the thumbs up is Marlon and the laughing face is William. So um, William has stated that by having a laughing face and not doing thumbs up, he wasn't necessarily committed to the actual date. But what it does demonstrate is that he was aware of the June 20th proposal. Now, the question is, was he aware of this uh, June 20th proposal? The next screenshot is from the Gospel Truth uh, channel, and it's posted, notice, on May 5th at uh, 12.30 in the morning, where it says, happy to announce the highly anticipated debate, actually rescheduled debate, because they were supposed to debate back in October, between Anthony Rogers and William Albrecht is back on schedule. This debate will go down June 20th at 8 p.m., and this is the screenshot that I had showed earlier. 
uh, where they're supposed to debate, does the Bible and the church teach justification by faith alone? And notice there's comments, there's shares, uh, people are thumbs up. And if you notice, Anthony's and William's needs are both highlighted in blue. And what this indicates is that they were tagged, which means they both were aware of it, which means that William was aware of the June 20th debate that is scheduled as far back as May 5th. So he was aware of this because he would have been informed of this particular tag. The next screen that's relative in their conversation is on May 25th. So this is about three weeks later. Marlon responds, hey guys, I'm getting ready um, to start a new job and it will be Monday through Thursday. Is it possible to move the debate to that Friday the 24th at 8 p.m.? Hate to keep moving the debate. And this is on May 25th, May 30th. Um, uh, there's no response and then finally at 2.20 and then finally at about uh, 6.30 in, in the afternoon William responds I am sorry brother I have notifications off on messenger so I did not see your message come in I will check back in when I get the time later no worries so what this indicates is that William um, did know about the June 20th debate. Even though Marlon is the one that's changing it here, notice William is not saying, well, I didn't agree to this debate. I didn't know anything about it that it was going to be on the June 20th. So he had known about this debate for nearly three weeks. Uh, actually, by the 30th, he had known for four weeks, but he had just known about uh, Marlon needing to reschedule it uh, about five days after he posted it. So at this point, uh, William had known for uh, nearly a month uh, about this June 20th debate, and this screenshot demonstrates it. Uh, Marlon responds back, um, once again, I'm sorry guys, it's, it's just my new job, yada yada yada. Anthony's, uh, or I mean Williams replies, not a worry, we will find something that, that works. So again, nothing about him not agreeing to the June 20th debate. Uh, the next screenshot has the same uh, post to demonstrate this is a continuous uh, conversation. Uh, William says, uh, that is your work and priority. How is Anthony scheduled down the line after late June? So again, he's aware of this June 20th debate. And this is from May 30th at uh, around 12 in the morning. And William responds, uh, once he replies, I'll return back here and we will both determine a new date that works for us both a new date which means he was okay with the old date and in blue this is anthony saying i'm pretty flexible and then marlon says really would like to do it on the 24th of june and and anthony that works for me the next uh, post as you can see that's going to be rele uh, relevant and a continuation of this conversation is may 31st at 11 30 in the morning So as you can see, May 31st, that works for me. The next post is by Marlon. Hey guys, no need to change the date. Are we still good? Anthony responds, yes, cool. Um, Marlon ends up tag tagging William Albrecht. This is about 1.30 in the, in the afternoon on the same day. And William responds, okay, good. So what's happening here? Marlon is saying, we don't need to change the date. And both Anthony and William are both saying, okay, good. So the June 20th date is still agreeable to both of them. But notice what, what William ends up doing. I moved another debate to that date when you told me you had to move it. Let me see what I can do. I'll be back here. You don't work on the 21st anymore? Now, what was the original date that they had agreed on and they were all aware of? Was it June 20th or June 21st? It was June 21st. And at that point... Marlon actually responds to him, the debate was scheduled for the 20th. I work, but I get off around 2.30, so it will be plenty of time for the debate. So this uh, debate that William is involved in is on the next day, on the 21st, not the 20th. This means the 20th that he had agreed to and he was aware of, he was still available for. And this is what Anthony ends up reiterating um, and affirming what Marlon is saying. Great to see it worked out. Hate for another occasion to put it off. Also happy to see William moved a debate to the 21st since we were are supposed to debate on the 20th. And notice what William uh, does here. He says, 
I'm already debating on the 21st, which was not the debate that they had all agreed on, which both Marlon and Anthony both just said it was on the 20th, not the 21st. I'm already debating on the 21st on Pints with Aquinas, nothing official yet. I'll be back here shortly, either today or by Thursday. So not only does William not understand that the debate was not on the 21st, but on the 20th, he's even saying that his debate on the 21st isn't actually official yet. You know, so at this point, um, the, even if it was on the 21st, which it wasn't, that date is still technically not set for uh, William's other debate going on. But the point is, the debate was supposed to be for the 20th, not the 21st. William was aware of it. William agreed to it. And the date is still open at this point um, as of May 31st. And then Anthony responds to him again and reinforces, that's good, our debate is on the 20th, not the 21st. In other words, you filled in a different day. So the original date is still free. No need to put it off, we're good. How providential. Furthermore, um, regarding uh, which of the two, Anthony or William, are the ones that keep putting it off, um, if you notice, on July 10th of this year, uh, where William is having a conversation with Marlon, he is talking about his debate with Anthony. He says, this is, capital letters, my next debate, though. Nothing else comes before this. Please just be patient. As you can see on my channel, I'm running pure uh, premieres until my family's healthy. So, again, um, his... Uh, the, the, one of the reasons that he wasn't able to debate Anthony before was because he was sick, and apparently his family is sick again. That happens, um, but people have kind of noticed that this seems to be a theme with him. Every time he tends to um, cancel a debate, it's because either him or some, uh, one of his family members are either sick or have a um, emergency. When I was supposed to debate Anthony or um, William back in 2019. Um, for our debate, he canceled the night before because his uh, mother-in-law had an emergency and they had to go out of town. So I'm not de uh, denying that that didn't happen and that these sicknesses are not legitimate. I'm sure they are, but it, it does seem to be a theme that people like, should at least be aware of. But the point is, William is saying to Marlon on Ju July 20th of this year, Nothing else comes before this. So his next debate after July 20th is going to be against Anthony. So if this is the case, then why is William debating Father Ramsey on October 20th of this year on Pints with Aquinas on Purgatory if his next debate is supposed to be against Anthony? Plus, he had debated Turretin Fan sometime after July 20th, uh, which again was not his next, de his next debate was supposed to be against Anthony, not Turretin fan, and not against uh, Father Ramsey. Now I understand that if you have something already scheduled in advance, that's different. But the fact that these were debates that were scheduled after um, William had canceled his June 20th debate against Anthony, then Anthony should be the next debate, considering that William said that it would be the next debate, but it wasn't. William lied. William had scheduled two other debates with two other people after he had said that Anthony was going to be his next scheduled debate. So I just wanted to clear this up, that, and regardless of what side you're on, I would hope that um, you would want to be objective and be on the side of truth, because both William and Anthony are claiming that the other is lying and that the other person um, is the one that's actually canceling and not scheduling. But as you can see from this video, that it was actually William, not Anthony, who is the one who keeps canceling. So, um, hopefully, uh, those who are watching are more concerned about what's true, and they're on the side of truth, uh, regardless if you are a supporter of Anthony or you're a supporter of William. This, this video demonstrates that and proves that William did indeed know about the May 5th uh, 
rescheduled the date for weeks, almost up to a month, um, and that it was still available. Uh, William had not filled that date in. They could have had the debate that day, and that William lied when he said that um, that Anthony's debate was going to be his next one, and instead he scheduled two others since then. So, thank you, and God bless.